I'm Amber. And I'm Emily. And we're marine scientists exploring the world's oceans. Today, on episode 2 of Science CTV, we're going to take you to what some scientists call an underwater rainforest. But in this forest, we won't be seeing any trees. Just algae. That's right, just algae. And you won't believe how cool it is. So come on, let's dive in on a California kelp forest. Kelp is a large species of algae. It's found in relatively shallow, cool waters, and we're fortunate to have a lot of it here in San Diego. It harnesses the power of the sun through photosynthesis to grow as much as 18 inches a day. That's at least this much. Kelp is found in large, dense groupings, like the forests that we find on land. And it can experience seasonal changes, like if there's a big storm or an El Nino event, the kelp gets dislodged and washes up on shore, leaving a tattered winter forest to be regrown each spring. Just like the forests on land, there are three distinct layers to these kelp forests. We have the upper level that's filled with sunlight, the middle level, as well as the lower floor of the forest. Now, these kelp forests provide important habitat, food, and shelter for a variety of species of fish, marine mammals, and invertebrates. We also use kelp as an active ingredient in some of the products and foods that we like, like toothpaste, shampoo, and even in munchies like pudding. <laughs> And now we'd like to introduce you to a few of our favorite kelp forest species. First up, we have the gregarious Garibaldi. Now the Garibaldi is California's state fish. You can tell it apart from other species because of its bright orange color and round disc-like body, resembling a giant goldfish. Now don't let their small size fool you though because these are fierce fish. They will go after fish large and small, even divers, in defense of their nest and eggs. Now we'll take a look at the taupe shark. Taupe shark is a shy and curious shark, one of only three species commonly found in the kelp forest. Now, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, has listed this shark species as vulnerable because they're known by another name, soup fin, and that's because they are overfished and exploited for their fins, which are used in shark fin soup. Next up, California sheephead. Now, the sheephead is a fish of two faces. That's because these fish are actually hermaphrodites. All of the species are born female, and then due to environmental conditions and other pressures, a select few females will actually turn into males. You can tell the males from the females because the females have a bright red body. The males have a bright red body also, but a distinct large black head. And lastly, we'll look at the California sea lion. These sea lions are the clowns of the kelp forest. They're playful, loud, and aren't afraid to blow bubbles in your face. But how do you tell a sea lion from a seal? Well, sea lions have ear flaps and a much larger body. They also have flexibility in their flippers, which allows them the mobility to come up on land. If you like our channel, make sure you check out our homepage and seek out the links in the upper right hand corner. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and have our own website there. If you want the latest scoop on what's going on in our oceans, make sure to give us a follow. We'll see you there.